Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel, where I share my insights and opinions on the popular TV series, The Chosen, which depicts the life of Jesus and his followers. In this video, I will be discussing the upcoming season 4 of The Chosen, and whether we will see Jesus face crucifixion in this season. I will also be giving some biblical analysis and predictions based on the Gospels and other sources. If you enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. As you may know, Season 4 of The Chosen has been confirmed and is already well on its way to being funded. The Chosen team and Angel Studios have already raised almost half of their overall budget. Before continue, I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time. The Chosen Season 4 is slated to release in 20,241, while we don't have a specific timeline or date for Episode 1, we can tell you that filming began in March 2023. They are filming this season in Goshen, Utah, and at Camp Poblitzel in Midlothian, Texas. Season 4 will have 8 episodes and will feature more scenes from the Bible as Jesus and his followers' story continues. According to show creator Dallas Jenkins, Season 4 is where it starts to turn. Two, he also said that Season 4 will be the most emotionally challenging season so far, as it will include the death of John the Baptist, which cast members said was a particularly emotional part of the show. So, will we see Jesus face crucifixion in Season 4? Well, the answer is not so simple. As you may know, The Chosen is not a strictly historical or literal adaptation of the biblical accounts of Jesus' life. It is a creative and artistic interpretation that aims to portray Jesus as a relatable and human character, while also respecting the core truths of the Christian faith. The show also adds fictional characters and events that are not found in the Bible, such as Nicodemus, Matthew's backstory, Mary Magdalene's healing, and more. Therefore, we cannot expect the Chosen to follow the exact timeline or details of the crucifixion as recorded in the Gospels. However, we can still make some educated guesses based on what we know from the Bible and other sources. First of all, we know that Jesus was crucified by the Roman authorities under Pontius Pilate, who was the governor of Judea from AD 26 to AD 363. Therefore, we can assume that season 4 will take place within this time frame. Secondly, we know that Jesus was crucified during the Passover festival, which is a Jewish celebration that commemorates the liberation of the Israelites from slavery in Egypt for the Passover festival usually occurs in March or April, according to the lunar calendar 5. Therefore, we can assume that season 4 will include some scenes related to the Passover festival. Thirdly, we know that Jesus was crucified after he entered Jerusalem on a donkey, which is known as the Triumphal Entry or Palm Sunday. This event marked his public recognition as the Messiah by his followers and his confrontation with the Jewish religious leaders who opposed him six. Therefore, we can assume that season four will show us how Jesus arrived in Jerusalem and how he stirred up controversy among the people. Fourthly, we know that Jesus was crucified after he celebrated the Last Supper with his disciples, which is also known as the Lord's Supper or Communion. This event was his final meal with his closest friends before his arrest and trial. During this meal, he instituted a new covenant with his followers by breaking bread and sharing wine as symbols of his body and blood that would be sacrificed for their sins. He also washed their feet as an act of humility and service. He also predicted his betrayal by Judas Iscariot and his denial by Peter 7. Therefore, we can assume that season 4 will depict this intimate and poignant scene between Jesus and his disciples. Fifthly, we know that Jesus was crucified after he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane which is also known as the Mount of Olives or Olivet. This event was his final prayer before his arrest and trial. During this prayer, he expressed his agony and sorrow over his impending death. He also asked God to take away his cup of suffering if possible, but ultimately submitted to God's will. He also asked his disciples to stay awake and pray with him, but they fell asleep instead. He also faced temptation by Satan who tried to dissuade him from his mission. He also was betrayed by Judas Iscariot, who kissed him as a sign for the soldiers to arrest him. Therefore, we can assume that season 4 will portray this intense and dramatic scene between Jesus and his father, his disciples, and his enemy. Sixthly, we know that Jesus was crucified after he was tried by the Sanhedrin, which was the Jewish supreme court composed of the chief priests, the elders, and the teachers of the law. This event was his first trial before his execution. During this trial, he was falsely accused of blasphemy for claiming to be the Son of God and the Messiah. He was also mocked, beaten, and spit on. Isin 14. Well, according to his podcast, 
the time has come, where he talks about his life and career. He had a change of heart after taking some time off from acting and exploring other areas of life. He said he realized how much he missed being on the show and how much he appreciated the fans who supported him throughout the years. He said he felt a calling to return to the show and give the fans a proper closure and a new beginning. He said he was excited to play a new character who was different from Tai but still had some similarities. He said he was looking forward to working with his co-stars again and having fun on set. He also said he was grateful to the showrunners and writers for giving him this opportunity and creating this amazing storyline for him. He also said that he hoped his fans would be happy with his decision and support him in his new journey. He said he hoped his fans would be relieved and healed of the grief of T's death by watching the new events of other characters within the show. He said he hoped his fans would enjoy watching him play Ty's twin brother and see how he interacts with Amy and the rest of the Heartland family. He said he hoped his fans would be open-minded and curious about this new twist and see where it leads. So, that's why Graham Wardle decided to come back to Heartland Season 17. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Heartland videos. Also, let me know in the comments what you think about Ty Borden's return and Graham Wardle's comeback. Are you excited or skeptical? Are you happy or angry? Are you curious or indifferent? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.